everyone, it's me, your social bay. My name is Jyoti, and welcome back to my channel. Halloween is around the corner, so in today's video, we are going to learn how to create Halloween party animated video invitation using Canva. This invitation you can share it via WhatsApp, Instagram story, or via messages. I think it's a great way to not only save paper but it's also very unique. So if you're interested, do watch this video till the end. But before we start with the tutorial, I hope you have subscribed to this channel. If not, I'm waiting. Done. Now let's go. Okay, so let's start. Uh, we'll select mobile video over here. We need to make a portrait video. So first, let me just quickly name our document. Okay. Now let's come to elements tab and search for our first element. That is haunted tree Halloween. I'm sorry for the background noise. I can't help it. Uh, let's place the tree over here and enlarge it a little. Okay, then let's duplicate this. Place it over here and reduce its size. Okay, then let's search for Halloween Grim Reaper. Let's take the first element and while pressing alt just increase its size a little bit and I'll just shift it a little upwards. Then I have to edit the image so just expand this section and I'll just change the settings a little bit. But I'll give you this filter code in the uh, description so that you can, uh, you can uh, just copy paste this filter code in your section and uh, just save your time with these settings. Okay, then let's search for another element that is half tone black gradient. I'll take the first one and let's cover the bottom part of our artboard with this element. I'm just enlarging it so that it blends the lower portion of our main subject and covers the bottom part of our artboard. Then search for flying bat silhouette and let's take this one. Now what I'll be doing is just randomly duplicating and randomly placing these bat silhouettes in different direction and sizes. That's it. Okay. Then let's search for scary red sky with full moon. Come in the videos tab and just click on the first video. Then the first thing we do is just turn off the volume because we'll be using our own music in the end and set video as background. Now just double click on this video and bring this moon over here. Now what I want is to have a larger moon. So what I'll be doing is just expanding, I mean just increasing the size of this video so that we increase the size of the moon this way and place it in the center like this so that you know it comes behind the grim reaper our main subject perfect then let's search for fading i'll take the first element then just rotate it this way and for the first color, I'll take bright red from here. And for the second color, I'll take black. Place it over here. I want to cover the top part with this element. I don't want too much of red. So I'm shifting it upwards and then pushing it to back. Okay. Now search for silver soft light effect. 
while pressing alt i am increasing its size placing it over here and then pushing it backwards then press t on your keyboard and it will bring up your text box and we'll add our first text let's choose this font okay let's make it bold and i'll bring this text over here then i'll just increase the letter spacing a little and then go to effects tab and select this option lift and increase its intensity to maximum then go to animate and i'll choose this option fade let's just reduce the speed a little bit okay now our text will come over here in this bottom part so what i'll be doing is just select these elements and lock them so that you know whenever you move the text it doesn't accidentally move your um, other elements let me add our main text halloween increase its size search for bachman caps okay let's just reduce its size i think that's fine i'll choose the color red then go to effects tab select this option neon and increase the intensity to maximum perfect then go to animate and select neon again then i'll go for the character animation and we'll just reduce the intensity a little then just duplicate the text and place it over the previous one go to effects and make it hollow and i'll just reduce the thickness to 25 26 okay then we'll just keep the uh, animation as it is okay so this this is how it will look now let's add our another text horror night let's go for font cust k u s t here it is okay let's just increase the letter spacing a little and i'll just choose bright red for our text go to animate and we'll choose neon then for this uh, layer of text we'll keep the animation style and uh, intensity as it is so we'll leave it like this and what we'll do is just select this text and duplicate it again place it on the previous text uh, correct then go to effects tab and let's uh, select this neon effect again and bring the intensity to 100 then select neon again and now we'll uh, come to character writing style like this and we'll reduce the intensity so this is how it will look perfect now uh, let's search for our next element that is red brush stroke we'll take the first element let's bring it over here let's take the uh, text over here and i'll just shift it a little upwards using the arrow keys okay then let's select this element brush stroke while pressing alt just increase its size okay i'll be changing the color to the red that we are using 
Now let's bring in our text. This includes the date and time. Then go to effects and select lift. Increase the intensity to 100. Now we'll select this brush stroke. Go to animate and select this option wipe. We'll, uh, we'll keep the direction as it is. That is from left to right. But I want the speed to reduce a little bit. Perfect. Now let's add our next text. This includes the location and other details. So while pressing shift, select these two elements. Go to animate and we'll be selecting fade over here. And I'll just reduce the speed a little bit. I think that's fine. Okay, then again press T and and let's add our spooky text. Come at your own risk. Let's reduce its size. And we'll bring it over here. Okay. Let's change the color to red. Perfect. Now search for black cat eyes. Go to the photos tab and you will find this photo like this over here. Go to edit image and select background remover option. Okay. Now, just bring this over here at the bottom and I'll be just cropping out the sides. We'll reduce the size of this uh, element a little. Okay. Then uh, I want to just edit this image a little. Go to edit image, expand this section and I'll tweak the settings a little bit over here and again I'll give you this filter code that you can copy paste. Check this out in the description box. Then go to animate and select this option drift. I'll change the direction that is from bottom to upwards and I'll change the intensity as well. So my thought is that uh, the cat eyes should uh, like should appear from nowhere and then uh, slowly come upwards. So this is the intensity I'm selecting. Perfect. Then this uh, video will be incomplete without adding our music. So you can search for Halloween over here or horror. Um, I have a music in my mind that is Horror Impact. This is the name of the music that I'll be using. So just drag this over here in the timeline. Perfect. 